Welcome to our lecture online. Now we're going to learn how to find the factors of a number. And there's a couple of methods. Here's method number one, where we take the prime numbers and we see if the number in question is divisible by the smallest prime number. If it's no longer divisible by the smallest one, we try the next one and the next one and the next one until we've completely broken it down into all its factors. So let's start with the number 84. Now, 84 is an even number, which means that 84 is divisible by the number 2. Well, when we divide 84 by the number 2, so here we write the 2 there, 2 goes into 8 4 times, 2 goes into 4 2 times, so 84 divided by 2 is 42. Notice it's still an even number, which means it can still be divided by 2. So here we write the number 2, and 2 goes into 42 21 times. Now, 21 is no longer even, which means we can no longer divide it by 2, so maybe it can be divided, divisible by 3. We take the, the next prime number. Notice when we add the 2 together, 2 plus 1 is 3, which means, yes, it's divisible by 3, and 21 divided by 3 is equal to 7. Now, since 7 is a prime number, we're done. We can't go any further, which means that 84 can be written as 2 times 2, times 3, times 7. So these are the four factors of the number 84. We can do the same for 63, but notice 63 is now divisible by 2 because it's already odd. So we try the next number on the list, which is 3. Notice when I add the 2 together, 6 plus 3 is 9. 9 is divisible by 3, so therefore 63 is. That means we can divide 63 by 3, and that leaves us with 21. 3 times 21 is 63. Notice that 21 is still divisible by 3, so we have 3 and 7, which means that 63 is equal to 3 times 3 times 7. So these are the three factors of the number 63. Now let's try 128. It is even, which means we can divide it by 2. 2 goes into 128 64 times. 2 times 6 is 12. 2 times 4 is 8. Now 64 is still even, which means we can divide it by 2. 2 goes into 64 32 times. 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 2 is 4. 32 is still even, so we can still continue with the number 2. So 2 goes into 32 16 times, which is still even. So that's divisible by 2, which gives us 8, which is still even. Divisible by 2, which gives us 4, which is still even. And that gives us 2 and 2. Notice then that 128 can be written as 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 factors. So 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. There's all seven factors of the number 128. So that's the methodology. Start with the smallest prime number. Then when it becomes odd, then start with the next prime number. Continue doing that until you're all the way done. And that's how you find the factors of a number. Well, that's method one. We have another method which we're going to show you in the next video.